Let's create a microbial sandbox by adding random stuff every day. Day zero. We will observe it under microscope every day. Let's start with some water from my fish tank. And some water from potted plant. And a little bit of milk to provide nutrients for microorganisms. Let's take a look at the day zero sandbox under microscope. Only some debris can be observed under 100 times magnification. And few bacteria under 400 times magnification. Comment to tell me what you want me to put next. This is, let's create a microbial sandbox by adding random stuff every day. Day one, 24 hours have passed. Let's take a look at the sandbox under microscope. At first I thought there were still no big changes in the sandbox until I found out these two big creatures. They are oligocata, which is a type of earthworms. They are commonly seen in fresh water and soils. Maybe they came from the water of my potted plants. A small number of ciliates are also seen. They are a type of single-cell microorganisms. And many mold hyphae surrounding the organic matters. Today, I add water collected from rain and soils from other potted plants. Leave a comment to tell me what I should add tomorrow. This is, let's create a microbial sandbox by adding random stuff every day. Day two, 48 hours have passed. Let's take a look at the sandbox under microscope. The sandbox is emptier than I expected. Organic matters and plant cells are everywhere, but microorganisms are rarely seen. Oh, I found a nematode. They are also commonly found in soil and fresh water. Most of them are harmless to our health. A new plotes. It is a type of ciliates. They're often found crawling on submerged surfaces or swimming in the water column. I want the sandbox more crowded. I went out and found a moss to put inside. Put more milk to provide more nutrients for microorganisms to thrive. Hope I can see more microorganisms grow inside tomorrow. This is Let's Create a Microbial Sandbox by adding random stuff every day. Day three, 72 hours have passed. It becomes more turbid. Let's take a look at the sandbox under microscope. There are much more bacteria swimming around. And also ciliates everywhere. Mysterious microorganism. I guess it is heliozoan, a sun animal cool. Please leave a comment to tell me if you know what it is. This time put something dirty inside. Rice goes in. Let's see how the sandbox turns out tomorrow. This is let's create a microbial sandbox by adding random stuff every day. Day four. Let's take a look at the sandbox under microscope. Please subscribe my channel to see the progress of the sandbox and other weird experiments related to microbiology. Also, please leave a comment to let me know what you want me to add into the sandbox and what experiments related to microbiology you want to see. You can see the kingdom is getting bigger and bigger. It is Vorticella, a bell-like microorganism that is commonly found in freshwater. Nematode again? Oligocata, a type of freshwater living earthworm. Have no idea what it is. Orange goes in. Cheese goes in. More water. See you tomorrow. Let's create a microbial sandbox by adding random stuff every day. Day five. The sandbox starts looking disgusting. Let's put under microscope to have a look. Please leave a comment to let me know what you want me to add into the sandbox and what microbiology experiments you want to see. I can tell now the sandbox is dirtier than my toilet. So many bacteria.
Oh, paramecium, a common freshwater single cellular microorganism. Two vorticella. Biscuits go in. Flowers. Olive oil. Add more water. See you tomorrow. Let's create a microbial sandbox by adding random stuff every day, day six. The whole sandbox is in milky white color. Please leave a comment to let me know what you want me to add into the sandbox and what microbiology experiments you want to see. I can't believe that the sandbox is full of ciliates. It is funny to see that the microbial population keeps changing over time. This type of ciliates is smaller. I don't know the exact genus or species name of it. A dying ciliate with broken cell membrane. You guys are so evil. Cat poop goes in. Waterweed. See you tomorrow. Let's create a microbial sandbox by adding random stuff every day. Day seven. Actually, the sandbox smells like shit now. Please leave a comment to let me know what you want me to add into the sandbox and what microbiology experiments you want to see. There are more bacteria in the sandbox than my poop. These sickle cells are fusarium, a mold that is commonly found in plants and fruits. Overall, the number of ciliates has significantly decreased. I dilute my sandbox with water in one to five ratio. Sugar goes in. Cock cheese, this is disgusting. See you tomorrow. Let's create a microbial sandbox by adding random stuff every day. Day eight. You may be curious about the smell. It just smells like someone who doesn't brush their teeth for a week. Please leave a comment to let me know what you want me to add into the sandbox. Thanks God I saved my sandbox. The number of ciliate increases again. But I can't see paramecium anymore. Sickle-like fusarium cells are everywhere. Seems molds live in the sandbox happily. The number of bacteria is overwhelming, especially around organic matters. Let's dilute it with fresh water again. Okay, egg goes in. And saliva. It is disgusting, bro. See you tomorrow. Let's create a microbial sandbox by adding random stuff every day. Day nine. I receive a couple of comments to ask me to add semen inside. Let's do it today. Let's take a look at the sandbox first. Seems protozoa and bacteria live peacefully. Okay, here's my sample. Just let you know my sample is healthy. Sample goes in. Let's take a look. Seems all the sperms die immediately after adding into the sandbox. Have you ever imagined you can create a microscopic world just like God creates the world? Let's do it with me. It is day 10 of the sandbox. Let's see what microorganisms live inside now. Wow, the whole sandbox is full of ciliates. Let's take a closer look. This gives us a clearer picture. The smaller one is used to be the dominant species in the sandbox. Now the bigger one becomes dominant and this species never appear in the sandbox before. They love surround the air bubble. It is because they can obtain more oxygen there. It really looks like a group of buffalo drinking water in African savanna. Let's use a new bottle. I collected a water sample which is full of algae from a river. Let's add it. Mud goes in? I don't have breast milk, so just go with normal whole milk. See you tomorrow.